Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Claudie Anire was the first female European astronaut to visit the International Space Station. But she's also a qualified medical doctor and a well-known name in the world of politics. How has she managed to achieve so much in many different areas? Let's find out more. Claudie Agnure became the first European woman in space in 1996. And even today, with her feet firmly on the ground, she still remembers that incredible adventure. After months of hard work, a childhood dream came true. But she's always worked hard. She passed her university entrance exams at the age of 15 and became a medical doctor at the age of 25. It's true, when you're a woman and you arrive to train as an astronaut, you're in a masculine world. So because people are watching you, it just makes you more determined. And I've always found that, whether it's my family, my friends or my work colleagues. But it's something which can be useful in life. I think it isn't easy to tell yourself that there's a key for your future. I think there are multiple doors, multiple opportunities. And sometimes you have to take a few risks, have the courage to push different doors open. Former French Prime Minister Jean-Pierre Raffarin was so impressed, he asked her to join the government. I saw that she was ready to fight, that she knew how to win, but that sometimes she felt fragile in the face of tough political battles. My memory of her is an excellent minister who worked for the general good, who was a great person, a great woman, but not a slave to her ego. And that's quite rare in government. Today, out of the 525 people who have flown in space, only 55 of them were women. Claudie Agnere now hopes to encourage other women to follow in her footsteps and work in science. It's true that you still don't see many girls entering scientific and engineering careers, and we wondered why that should be the case. Going through school, there are still so many stereotypes, so we have to encourage girls as much as possible. And personally, I do a lot of work getting researchers and engineers into schools to talk to young people, girls and boys, to explain about careers in science and engineering. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.